All right, in your independent station, we're going to work on summarizing, and we're going to use the text we've already read. This was the text we read and that we answered questions about. So this will be a great one for us to summarize. Now, you know that I like to use um, words, repeated words, because how can I summarize a text? Well, I can find the details. I can find the repeated words. From those repeated words, I can ask myself, what did I learn from these details? And then I can scrunch it up, as Miss Ford says, and I can use like 20 words or less and summarize um, a whole text. So let's look at our text and I'm going to do um, one section at the time and we're going to look for repeated words. What did the author think was important enough to repeat over and over? If you could create a holiday, what would it be called? What date would you choose for your holiday? Peter J. McGuire, a carpenter and labor union leader, was the person who came up with the idea for Labor Day. He thought American workers should be honored with their own day. He proposed his idea to New York's Central Labor Union early in 1882, and they thought the holiday was a good idea too. With four long months between Independence Day and Thanksgiving, Peter suggested a month halfway in between. But what date should they choose? All right, what has been repeated? What do you think was important? Sometimes um, there also are just important words that maybe were not repeated, but they're still important. Well, I saw date several times. There's date. And I saw date down here. That was important, the date. Okay, so I'll come to the margin over here and you can use the margin on your text and I'll write the word date. Sorry. I'm not writing it very well, am I? But I can underline it. There's date or circle it. There's date down here. I also heard the word holiday several times. Here's holiday. Um, if you could choose a holiday, what would it be? Now, um, even though his name is not repeated, well, actually it is. I think we should remember Peter because apparently it was his idea. So we've got Peter, date, and holiday. All right. So what do you know? What did you learn from these details? <laughs> there we go. That doesn't look very good, but there you go. So I want you to ask yourself, what did I learn from those details? So Peter proposed a holiday and they're trying to come up with a date. Now, I'm going to come down here. The very first Labor Day, oh yeah, Labor Day, it was up there too, right? So Labor Day, I could put that where the holiday is. And that beautiful handwriting. Um, the very first Labor Day was held on a Tuesday, September 5th, 1882 in New York City. The day was celebrated with a picnic, concert, and speeches. 10,000 workers marched in a parade from City Hall to Union Square. Do you see anything else that's been repeated? We've got Labor Day. Hmm. We've definitely got day again, so I'm going to leave Labor Day. Now, soon after that first celebration, oh my, there we go. I've got celebrated and I've got celebration. All right, kind of like celebrate good times. Come on. All right, there's celebrate. <laughs> really big across your text, right? Soon after that first celebration, the holiday, there we go, was moved to the first 
Monday in September, the day Americans still honor. We still have it on that day. Congress passed legislation making Labor Day a national holiday in 1894. Labor Day is not just a day to celebrate the accomplishments of workers, but they're celebrated again. Uh, for some people, it's also a day to talk about their concerns and to discuss ways to get better working conditions and salaries. All right, so I like to go back and just look at the words that I found, if you can even read these. I'm going to move them, I think, in just a second to another chart. So I've got date and Peter McGuire and holiday, which I'm going to move to Labor Day and celebrate. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to put those words down. So I had holiday. I had Peter McGuire. I had celebrate. I had Labor Day. Whoops. One, two, three, four. I'll give you one more. Look back. Is there one more word that you would like to choose? You can have one more of these. So we had Peter, holiday, date. Oh, date. I'm going to use date. Okay. Let's put date. And let me fix that A. Okay. What did you learn from holiday, Peter McGuire, celebrate, Labor Day, and date? And uh, you can only have two sentences. So think no more than two sentences. I'm thinking, I know who Peter is. Peter McGuire suggested a holiday to celebrate laborers. And they had to decide on a date. Or I could go back another way and say it another way. Labor Day was a holiday suggested by Peter McGuire. I like that one. Let's do try that. Labor Day was a holiday suggested, because the word was proposed, but I'm changing it. Was a holiday suggested by Peter McGuire to do what? To honor laborers laborers or you could say workers now I have that one more word up there date it's just sticking out there yeah and it kind of was important because a big part of this article is about them deciding on a date so um we will say um the there they who do we want to say decided on a date Oh my goodness, we might better put a name. Look right back right here. And look who decided finally on the date. Do you remember? It's in the end. I remember it being near the end. There we go. Congress. All right, so Congress decided on a date. Okay, now... There we go. Peter, Labor Day was a holiday suggested by Peter McGuire to honor laborers. Congress decided on a date. Are you happy with that? Let's see if we have more than 20 words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I don't count incidental words like A and two, just big words. So we are right on it. And that is our summary of the very first Labor Day. Now, we didn't tell about everything, did we? No, but we didn't need to. We just zeroed in on the five words that we thought were most important. All right, write your summary. It doesn't have to be just like mine. If you have evidence to prove yours, then you do not have to have the exact same summary that I do.